Leather is not a fast fashion material and I hate it when people force to use good image of leather into a fast fashion business model. In this video, I will show you the secret of fast fashion by analyzing what's in this bag and what's it's not. And spoiler alert, leather part has the secret. Fast fashion is built on three pillars. Products that can be made fast, cheap, and ideally not durable. So you come back and buy more. Naturally, leather doesn't fit into any of these descriptions. Producing leather takes a long time from tanning to crafting. It is never as cheap as a fast fashion business life and it doesn't fall apart. Once it's done right, it is here to stay and it's the antidote of fast fashion. Yet, some brands try to fit the good image of leather into their fast fashion business models, and it stinks. Here is a good example I stumbled upon recently. I have been spotting eye-catching leather bags with a recognizable RM logo all over Taiwan. Immediately, it got me curious as I've never seen this brand before. I took my bike to the closest store to check it out. It was insanely busy and I got my first hint of the reason behind this hype as I looked into their price tags. It was incredibly affordable to be a real leather. So I asked the sales associate if it was leather. She said it was real leather but PU leather. I got confused but thought maybe it was the language barrier. But then she showed me a translation on her phone claiming this was environmentally friendly leather. And that pissed me off. When I looked around, the brand marketing showing this scheme as an innovative fashion brand. Yet, the way they described this crappy cheap material as the environmentally friendly leather was pure bullshit. I realized I was looking into one of those fast fashion business models offering you something initially shiny at a very low price while covering up all the hidden costs behind that nasty irresponsible production with fancy marketing jargon. It is the oldest distraction trick in the magic book. The goal is to make you look into all the shiny marketing fluff and you think you're getting a great product from an amazing responsible company. Yet, the real operation is far away from that happening behind the scenes. I bought one of their bags to see the full picture and as I dissected it, I was surprised how much hardware was on this bag. Although low quality, this hardware is a significant cost in the making. And I know for sure fast fashion business models are always after the best price. And in the hardware business, running after the cheapest hardware means poisoning the people and the earth when making it under those cost pressures. The notorious cyanide is used in the production and it is insanely dangerous to who work there and where that water is dumped. So the next problem was the main material. As we applied acetone, the plastic layer melted away, exposing the fabric backing underneath, showing a typical PU, also known as fake leather here. It's a disgrace to call this environmentally friendly leather. This is cheap plastic fabric that will flake off and fall apart in a few years going to landfills and becoming microplastic issue poisoning our environment for centuries to come. And as always, inside of a product shows me the best picture of the craftsmanship behind it. This thing was a hot mess inside, showing me that the workshop who made this had zero time on any cleaning or attention to detail tasks. Although all the crappy materials being used on this bag, there is still a need for good human beings to put it together. And it is a lot of work. So all this effort is being wasted by using non-durable materials. But also I'm pretty sure who works in this production is not very happy with the money they are making. Looking at the mere $80 retail price, I know there is not much room to pay the workers in a fair way. So it may look shiny and nice and the price may look attractive, but from every aspect this is a waste of resources and a disgrace to the earth and humankind. So when you see a leather looking item under a fast fashion brand with a very attractive price next time, think about what is not included in that price and can you stomach using that product. As always, until next time, stay leather tanned.